The PS5 DualSense is an all-around great gaming controller. In fact, it ranked top five on our list of best video game controllers. So why not get it working on your gaming PC to take full advantage of the DualSense's capabilities while playing PC games or while PC gaming? Well, it's surprisingly not difficult to get it functioning on your PC and also has some rather robust features far more than the prior generation's DualShock. So today, we're breaking down each and every step to get your DualSense working on your PC. All right, now first up, what you'll need is a data-ready USB-C cable and of course, the DualSense controller. Now most PCs have Bluetooth built in, but if yours, for whatever reason, doesn't, you'll need to also have an adapter. Now the USB-C cable can be either C to C or USB-A to C, depending on which ports you have available on your PC. Now step one, plug your USB into one of the ports on your PC. Now step two, plug the other end into the DualSense controller. Now step three, wait for your computer to recognize the DualSense as a gamepad. Now from here, you can play PC games however you please as long as you're fine with a wired controller. Now apart from wiring your controller to your PC, you can also pair the DualSense wirelessly to your PC via Bluetooth. To do this, access your computer's Bluetooth settings by selecting Bluetooth and other devices from the Windows menu. From there, select Add Bluetooth or Other Device. Select Bluetooth from the pop-up window, then with your DualSense disconnected and powered off, simultaneously press and hold the PS button and the Create button. Now wait until the light bar located underneath the touchpad starts to blink. Going back to your computer, select your DualSense from the list of available Bluetooth devices and you're good to go. From there, you're ready to start playing God of War, Final Fantasy VII Remake, or Spider-Man Remastered on your PC. As if you couldn't play those games before, assuming you own a PS5. But if you own a DualSense, I'm just gonna go ahead and say you do own a PS5. Yeah. Anyways, you can also get the DualSense set up for Steam gaming by going to the controller settings. Now navigate there by going to settings and under the controller tab, locate the general controller settings menu. From there, you'll see a list of options. Now you'll want to click on the PlayStation configuration support option. Now back on the controller tab, you can set up the buttons however you see fit. Now as far as compatible games that take advantage of the DualSense's features, well there's quite a few that'll respond to the controller's haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Now, overall compatibility will vary game to game, and again, not all games will be able to take advantage of the DualSense's haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Now Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered, for example, was responsive, you know, took advantage of the gamepad's sound ability and worked well overall for me personally, but it definitely had its limitations when compared to using it on the PS5 console. Now you can try remapping some of the buttons to best fit your gameplay and try to emulate what you'd experience gaming on the PS5. So that's how you get the DualSense functioning on your PC. Now, if you've already given it a try, I'd love to know what your experience has been like and maybe tell us how it might compare to using an Xbox controller on your PC. Like, do you see yourself replacing it with this? Like for me personally, while it's nice to have this as an option using the DualSense on PC, I'm not gaining a whole lot, save for you know, a select few games I've gotten to work with this. But it's nice to have it as an option, so it's still worth setting it up if you have a DualSense in hand. Now let us know what you think, and for more on gaming controllers, please check out our Best Series X and S controllers video, or for something a little bit more niche, our flight controllers video. And for more tech-related videos, keep watching IGN.